Oh, thank you for coming to look at my video. Um, this is a video that was taken by someone else while I was demonstrating my Joseph Moxon replica 17th century lathe at the Bell Broughton show this year. Fantastic. It's a scarecrow show um, and I really, really enjoyed it. There are hundreds and hundreds of people walking around and you'll see later as the video starts children turning the lathe themselves. Somebody put a paper bag hanging on the side of it there. That's not part of the lathe. Um, you can see just behind it some um, hook tools um, that I use and then uh, perhaps one or two plates hanging up around the place and the big wheel at the back the piece of wood that you can see sticking up there is the rest it's actually the long rest that goes along those shoulders that you can see on the poppet sticking up anyway you'll see the lathe in operation i hope to get a better video showing it in more detail and how it's all put together through the mortise and tenons through threads in this that go all the way down these shafts you'll see these shafts here are about 14 inches long i can turn a screw thread using this you can't do that on a polar lathe because it has to continually go back you need to run all the way along what you're doing you also can't do oval turning i have a device for doing oval turning as well um, which is described in joseph box's work if you go on the internet and type in box and m-o-x-o-n joseph box's work the whole of his treatise is there as he wrote it in the 17th century and i hope you'll find this is a true copy i believe this is the only one in the world i've never seen one before never had anybody describe one. I know a lot of wood turners who are interested in historical uh, reproduction. I believe this is the only true reproduction. The wheel at the back, you see, was made by the Queen's Wheelwright for me. I couldn't make that. The wheel was made by the Queen's Wheelwright, Mike Rowland and Greg Rowland. It only arrived two weeks ago, so we're quite new. And this is the first demonstration that this has been at. The fellows, that's the rim that goes around the outside, is ash. The spokes are all oak and the elm hub is strong in the centre and we used elm. You know what, our elm died out in our country with Dutch elm disease. We're bringing it back now and we can still buy abroad. There are still some places. The whole thing, a period of this is quarter sawn oak. Joseph Moxon specifies it should be quarter sawn oak because that's how the English cut oak. And you'll see in old houses, 16th century houses, the wainscoting on the walls, you'll see a kind of speckly effect. That's because of the way the oak is cut. It's cut because it gives it strength. If you see those spines coming out of the wood, you see like a speckling effect on this wood here. That's what you see when the wood is quarter sawn oak. This is cut by the quarter sawn oak company. It's been a five year project in the making. You're the first people to ever see it. A true 17th century lake. A turner would have done seven years from 14 years old to 21 years old and then become um, a journeyman. How long did it take to make that line? Oh, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> Oval turning as well. Very, very difficult to do that. An alternate rotation. And of course, an alternate rotation, you're only turning when it comes down. You're only turning what you push. Yeah? Which is not much more different than you can hand play along. Yeah. Not very efficient. Joseph makes some remarks and talks about this dealing with great work, but also ridding off work plate. I would, I'm not exaggerating too much to say probably 10 times faster than I could with a pole weight. There were no bodges in the 17th century, that would have been illegal. You did a seven year apprenticeship as a wood turner. The reason why you did that was because dried goods were sold in boxes. All bo no such thing as cardboard, all boxes were wood. Inside the wooden box would be a measure. That measure was used by farmers for grain. It was also used for spice merchants as well for nutmeg. Nutmeg was more expensive than gold. When I put a measure inside a box that I make and put my mark on the bottom of it, that's because I'm part of a guild. Henry VIII insisted that wood turn is part of a guild for that reason. Otherwise, anybody can make a box, anybody can put a measure on it, and you can sell short measures. So, once we get a bit of speed on here, I'll make a few more shavings, and anybody that's got some rabbits or guinea pigs... Oh, dear. Oh, oh. You will ever see on a 17th century lathe. Look at the power out of it. 